Good morning. My name is Tyler Everett. How many of you actually know what Common Core really is? For those of you who don't know, Common Core is a set of academic standards in math and English language arts. Common Core was made by a bunch of policymakers in Washington, D.C. from all across the country. And it was made to ensure that students are prepared for early on college level classes for the workforce. Common Core focuses on critical thinking, problem solving, and analysis. Who uses Common Core? 43 states have Common Core. Minnesota only has the English language arts standards. They don't have the mathematics standards. Oklahoma, Indiana, and South Carolina previously adopted Common Core, but then dropped it due to its lack of success. Texas, Alaska, Nebraska, and Virginia never adopted these standards. Standardized tests. Over the past 10 years of seeing the graph, test takers and exams taken have doubled. However, the percent with a score of a three to five, which is passing, has not even increased. In 2006, 46.6% people passed with a three to a five. In 2016, 45.3% passed with a three to a five. That's decreasing. Over the 10 years, it fluctuated a few percent, but it didn't exponentially grow like Common Core hoped. Of a survey taken of middle schoolers in between the 2014-15 school year and the 2015-16 school year, sixth graders and eighth graders passing the language arts test went down. Seventh graders only went up by 1% over that year. The effects on the students. Common Core focuses in language arts on 70% nonfiction and 30% fiction. And when you're younger, it's more 50-50, but as you get older, it decreases. But a survey taken by two scholars, Sandra Stotsky and Mark Berlin, said that to have college readiness, you need to study complex literary texts, such as books by Mark Twain, like The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. Effects on the teachers. 72% of teachers taking the survey said that using standardized computer-based tests to measure all progress over a year is negative and it can affect students in a negative way. 89% of these teachers said that using teacher evaluations on their students' court should not be how you evaluate the teachers. If this is how you evaluate teachers and students, teachers will start to teach to the test. Teaching to the test is a negative way to teach. Students only prepare for the test and are not prepared for next, the next course in line or college level classes doesn't help them for the future. This is a comic on how there's a domino effect on the student to the teacher to the administrator to the school board. If the student gets question nine wrong, as it says, the teacher is evaluated badly by the administrator. If the administrator has bad reviews on the teachers, it affects his accreditation with the school board. Why is Common Core still around? Common Core is still around because states invested billions of dollars into these standards. They can't just drop them out of nowhere and be wasting money. It'd be like if you went to Subway and ordered a sandwich for 10 bucks. The sandwich was horrible. You didn't like it, but you finished it anyway because you didn't want to waste your money. Computers are very expensive and student schools have to buy new computers every year and that's a big part of the billions of dollars. The good stuff. Common Core is not just bad. Common Core standards are tough and rigorous, and it challenges students, which is why, which could be a reason on why the test scores are so low. A solution. A solution would be to bring back our old standards, which would be a cost-effective way instead of investing billions of dollars on a new standard that may not even work when the old standards proved effective. What questions might you have? Thank you. Two questions for you. First up, how valid and reliable were the sources that you used, and then how did you know that they were? I looked into the surveys, uh, not surveys, I looked into the author, sorry, and I looked at their backgrounds. Sandra Scott Stotsky, as I said earlier, was a very renowned scholar and has a bunch of accreditations for her. Uh, next question. If you had more time, which, what additional research would you do? I would have had more time if I 
I would have had a better counterclaim and I would have looked more into more students' opinions and surveys and how they feel about how Common Core makes them feel. All right, cool. Thank you.